So just name some of the people's houses. John Krim, his house with a big fat log in the front. It looked like a nice sample property. I got a video of this. I'll show it to you in a second. But the full house, garage, shed, several vehicles, an RV, that's how much stuff he had. And then afterwards, it was all burnt down. This is in the back of Seminole Trail at the corner of Kiowa Trail and Pecos Trail. So it's parcel number 71515590. Pecos Trail. So fire number two, you got this Nebraskan, this guy, uh, Arthur F. Mayhew, Mayhew, 715174507521620, 715216207521620, Stanley Zelinsky's property. That looked like he's in Chicago. This uh, Arthur F. Mayhew is in uh, n um, Nebraska. And then you have John Krim here, who's out of Upton, Kentucky. So yeah, they're absentee, you know, sort of, I don't, they're not landlords, they're absentee owners. They're not allowed to own a property in Southwest Coast Tee County, so they don't believe in property rights there. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, they're terrorist right-wing Nazis out there. Sarge Chester L. L. Mitchell, his house was burnt down, or they said he burned his own house down, which I don't know, with how they fucking burning houses down out there. Tartarian, Nick Valela, Wayne Kurt Johnson's right next to it. There's several structures. Let's see here. Fire number six. Stacy Allen Heath and Kellyanne McMichael's place was burnt down. What did Kellyanne McMichael and Stacy Allen Heath and actually that that might be the new owners? Twelve seventy eight Lipen Trail. Edward Brewster lives on Lipen Trail. He didn't see nothing. Cynthia Rose Lee and Samuel Lee Jepson li lives near there too. At sixteen forty three Lipen Trail. They didn't see shit. There was a fucking house that burnt down right in front of your fucking faces. The, the damn Samuel Lee Jepson and Cynthia Rose Lee, they would have seen John M. Krim's house burning down too. There, it's only, you know, a dozen fucking arsons in a goddamn five mile radius. You dumb motherfuckers. That don't seem suspicious to you, you stupid motherfuckers. And then Kenny Capen, according to Pete, Pete had said that Kenny Capen told him that he likes to burn down houses just to steal their... Wood stove, and he stole a wood pudding stove for Justin and Courtney. 715-238-00. So Mike Hampton's, a previous house on Mike Hampton's land. It used to be owned by the Rio Grande Rancho, so who knows who this name was. Said that Lorraine Medina sold it to Michael, Michael W. Hampton of San Luis for $160. Huh. Did, is he somehow, did he just benefit, he just get a windfall or is he responsible? Because it seemed like if they had a house, they were wanting to live there. And then uh, he just bought it for 160 bucks. That's nice. I guess you just burn people out and then buy it for 150 bucks, 160 bucks. Two or three structures used to stand there. There used to be two to three structures and several cars. Now it's just desolation and trash and a big burnt spot. These are the neighbor of Hiram Richardson's and Jacqueline Mitchell's old house. But that fucking household, them pieces of shit are still fucking being dickhead motherfuckers. So here's John M. Krim's house. And then you're going to see a little creepy fuck. So this is in the Louvetti, out by the Rio Grande. So if you look around, kind of see the gorge area right there. The Just Rio get a Rio sense Rio. of the area, right? Headwaters at least goes around there. There's that big log. It's a sample it's property. Some... Some or he was going to live there. Maybe this was his actual home. But look, yeah, see that piece of shit? Who the fuck is that creepy fuck? I just drove there to get my mail, and then that motherfucker drove all the way around and then acted like he was going to jackknife me from the side. About four, I was going up County Road G. He was talking to Brian. He was talking to Brian, which is right there next to Aiden Heckman's property. So right here is a crime scene, right? So that bitch-ass piece of shit sees me driving around and videotaping all this crime scene, and he's just, like, driving real fucking slow. He's trying to be intimidating to me. I know what the fuck is going on. What's scary to me is when I pointed out to you pieces of shit, and you're like, huh? Oh, he's just driving, looking at the, the snails and the and the flowers. He's just smelling roses. That's all he's doing. Shut the fuck up, you pieces of shit. My spotty senses is going off, so I, I'm aware this motherfucker is a piece of shit. 
He's a criminal fuck, and he goes around committing crimes all the fucking time. Nobody knows who that flatbed truck because he used to be parked at Daniel's house, too. And then Daniel's house is going to get burnt down, huh? Huh, that's weird. So I'm sitting there, you know, filming all these ex art, these old arsons and shit. He's driving right there. Huh, I wonder if it's that motherfucker that's always around fucking doing the crimes. Who the fuck is that flatbed truck piece of shit bitch? That motherfucker gets to live his life. He gets to have a house and a plot of ground. He gets to have a goat or two, and he gets to goddamn have a mailbox and shit, and he goes around burning people's houses down and shit. These are major fucking felonies. This is right-wing sovereign Nazi shit. These rat bastards, essentially, they think they could get away with it because people go in the middle of nowhere and try to build, and then they leave, and then, you know, they commit the crime because nobody's around. And in a way, I guess they did commit the, They got away with it, huh? I'll just show you this one. So, here's some more crazy shit. So this fucking white Jeep is just sitting there outside and he flashes lights at me, right? And now we got a big Jeep or a big fucking tent right where that Jeep was. Why is this bitch-ass piece of shit doing all this? This is a right-wing sovereign fucking movement. I used to go for walks around my house and so they're making up a bunch of shit. All they're doing is just terrorizing the living fuck out of me. But actually, maybe I should mention that. Maybe I should mention that. So there is uh, three false allegations. So you had, you know, human trafficking, right? So I guess a uh, big old goddamn slave driver here. I'm the one that's against slavery. I'm the one that likes Abraham Lincoln. But these Confederate fucks think uh, these motherfucking right-wing sovereign perverts are the ones that goddamn... Those kids are getting raped out there for five years straight. For five years straight, they're being abused and raped. And so how come uh, Troy Zinn didn't care about that? Hey, Troy Zinn, those kids, those McDonald kids are being raped right there. And then Nick Valela, I guess, why didn't Nick Valela give a damn about those kids being raped for five years? Adam Clayton lived right next door. Nobody heard anything. Nobody saw any, anything. Actually, Nick Valela said that Xanis McDonald liked to watch his daughter go pee. That's interesting, Nick Valela. What else did he fucking say? Did you happen to goddamn join in with Xanis and his bullshit? How come Samantha didn't get arrested? You sick motherfuckers. You oppressor molester, nozo chomo bitches, you fucking Nazi fucks. These racist sons of bitches are goddamn, they're, they've checked out their child abusers. They don't give a fuck about anybody. All they want to do is abuse children. They move out in the middle of nowhere so they can be racist, bigoted, fucking asshole, fucking criminal, fucking child abusing piles of shit. And so I have to, what, call Schultz up and say, yeah, there's this white Jeep and I got the videotape. Here it is. Yep, he was shining his lights at me. And then, oh, he calls every day, all day, every day. And if you're annoyed with me calling all day, every day, imagine if uh, I was committing, you know, crimes against you all the time and all you had was fucking Schultz to go to. Now you, I'm sitting there, you know, driving by and killing your puppy and doing drive-by shootings and doing all the shit that they was doing to me. And then Schultz, is, pretend he's not a cop, so he's got to call the cops, right? He has to sit there and just let me fucking victimize the fuck out of him. He ain't allowed to do nothing. He's just a damn citizen. Shut the fuck up. And then the moment that he says, hey, stop doing it, you know, say I'm doing a drive -by, another drive-by shooting, and he fires a couple warning shots, well, then he gets arrested. What's good for the goose is good for the gander. If you don't think any of that is right, then how in the world? How in the world? So, I don't know if you'll see the, the Jeep flashing his lights at me, but we're going to see the Jeep that was driving around right there at the same spot. This is right there at the it's Huron it's Trail. Last night, flashing its light at me. It's got a real loud engine. Real loud, I'm stupid right engine. They're, they're doing the same it's dumb it's shit. And then Nick Vallejo also said, oh, you know how they, they keep on changing vehicles? They keep on switching vehicles? What are you talking about, Vallejo? Santa Cruz says, we don't like that. We don't like it when you get water from the river. We don't like that. Well, Ed Brewster, you let Ed Brewster get all the fucking water in the world, so lie. You're a liar. But who the fuck is we? We don't like that. You and uh, Troy Zinn. But you love running people's dogs over, right? You love murdering people's puppies and kittens and shit. Sick motherfuckers. Bunch of sick motherfuckers. No wonder this country doesn't want health care for each. You guys are just a bunch of piles of shit. You're not a Christian. You don't give a fuck about your neighbors. 
You tell your kids to be Christians so they'll turn their earth so you can beat the fuck out. That's the only thing. I grew up around Christians. All they wanted to do is beat up their kids. They didn't have any morals. They didn't have any virtues. They couldn't even quote Jesus. It's just about listening to God. Does Jesus matter? No, not really. No. It's about obeying your daddy and authority. So, yeah, I'm against crimes. Injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. So when crimes happen, I like to think that we as uh, people could stop the fucking bullshit. But apparently not. After the jury trial, after I said all these crimes have happened, after I've been fucking goddamn telling the whole world what the fuck, I've wrote them so many things. They know everything. That court system in their e-filing system, assuming that, you know, it was passed along. That could be, it's possible they didn't pass that shit along. But uh, there's emails that was sent to the clerk, at least. So if that, uh, if it wasn't put into the record, then the emails that was sent to the clerk... You know, that's that's me being a fair person. I would think that, that all that would be... But basically, I feel like I've told you everything that I know. Every connection, every single this or that that I've, I've told you everything that I know. So, anytime anybody wants to get fucking serious about this shit, but my guess is uh, you're a bunch of piles of shit and you're going to continue to be... You're Nazis, right? So you don't give a fuck about other people. You like to go around bullying people. So when I tell you I'm being bullied, well, then that you know, you're a fucking Nazi. So... You definitely identify with the fucking bullies. You don't give a shit about me. But you know what? I'm not going to get bullied by you sons of bitches. So 